Okay guys, get excited, because this is actually from Evike and it's not a box of awesomeness for once. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this, generally it's very different to the box of awesomeness in that they don't tell you what you could potentially win, they just kind of give you a price range. So with this box, it is $199 and they promise that you are gonna get, or promise, they say that it's gonna be a replica of $280 or more. So I actually ordered two. I was actually gonna do them on separate videos, but they decided to put both boxes in the same box. Um, to give you another like kind of rundown, these are not normally brand new and they'll either repair them or they're not in perfect quality basically. But I'm actually really excited about this one. It's not like I've got a list of options and I know what I'm gonna win potentially and I'm probably gonna get a base box. This could be anything, double the excitement or at least one and a half. So we're gonna open it up. Ooh, it's a WE. Ooh, okay. Um, okay, so this is, this is why I haven't run gas blowback rifles in the past for sure. I do run gas blowback pistols. There's my favorite little Glock 26 TM one there. The issue is these mags are so expensive. So if you're kind of, you know, wanting to dump a mag or you're running into a building and you're not being that careful about putting them in your dump pouch, uh, these can get damaged very easily. They obviously have like a gas cylinder in them. Magazine capacity on these is generally not that high. And I don't know exactly, but I'd expect it's probably 45, 50 rounds. But it is kind of cool. I actually know that there's a lot of people that run them. It's a lot more realistic because you get a lot more recoil in these. But what I would say is, that I don't find them as practical practical for gameplay. Um, I mean, it's really good, good, good weight, this thing. So this is kind of cool, actually. It's not got that much wiggle in it. This is another great thing about the M4 style gas blowbacks is that the stocks don't need to take batteries in them. So you don't have to have a crane stock. You don't have to have a fat thing that's gonna have to have a space in it to run a battery because obviously your power is coming from the gas in the magazine. One thing I would say is I'm not a big fan of the standard M4A1 uh, front grip because you can't really mount anything on it. Uh, one good thing about this is though that you do have a uh, releasable kind of uh, top hand grip here with the iron sights on it. So if you want to, you can basically run whatever sight you want on there. So it is actually not too bad. This feels like polymer lower and metal upper. I might be wrong. So if, if I am, let me know in the comments. This is another thing that often uh, Evike will do is that they kind of have the quality check. Now, obviously if it's a used item or it's an open box item, they're going to want to uh, make sure that it works before they send it out. Oh, so that's also very cool. The actual bolt, you can actually see the gap there as you would on a real rifle. And put this in here. And as I rack that, it's gonna hold back. So that is another thing that a lot of people love about gas blowback is uh, when you finish the magazine, you actually know because the bolt will lock back. There is gas in this, so I'm gonna try firing it. George, you're not gonna like this. Okay, that's really cool. I mean, it gives a real recoil and it just feels awesome. For me, I was thinking about guessing one of these and it was more just to kind of have a backyard plinker, which is really good fun to fire. Let me know in the comments, guys, if you would like to receive this because I'm pretty happy, you know what I mean? I think it's just a very cool replica to receive. Right, now what we've got to do is see if we're gonna beat it with the second one. George is getting very annoyed with me. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna reach in, I'm gonna pull it out. So, Daniel Defense. Now I've heard this name, but I actually haven't got anything which is made by these. Uh, it says I seek recoil on the back, so I'm expecting it's gonna be something recoil, uh, and it's Bolt. It used to make some great gas blowbacks uh, and some great recoil AEGs, but then actually recently, a lot of them have not been as good quality. It's gonna be potentially a uh, kind of AEG, Reco oh wow. I mean, it might just be the packaging, guys, because the packaging's amazing, but this is so cool. It might just be like a, a part that you can, oh, okay, it's a magazine. Ah, one issue I didn't notice. Uh, this is definitely not a gas mag and it's a high cap. So it's going to be uh, an AK style mag that goes in here. And I've had a few of these, which I'm just not a fan of. Um, but the packaging on this, guys, is absolutely awesome. 
kind of, it reminds me of that Toko Marui style packaging where they've kind of like zipped it or Velcroed it into the actual box. Box is not in great condition underneath that, but actually it's a very heavy weapon. Um, you've obviously got four-sided Picatinny right here. Um, you've got some iron sights which pop up. Yep, so they just pop up like that. Uh, you can remove them, which is great. Uh, it has a single side selector switch, so there's no bolt release on this one. In terms of hop-up, uh, it's a rotary style hop-up. It doesn't look like the best quality. Uh, but if it's a recoil, this means that it's probably going to recoil. I mean, that is horrendous as well. Look at that. You can see the Tamiya connectors come out the wrong side of this. There's access to the battery space in the back, it looks like, by a screw. Um, but this, I think, is going to be... If I can get it in. This, this mag is awful. I don't know how they would have got it to fire, though, without having a mag in it. So, I mean, the quality feels good. It's generally just a kind of, it's a solid feeling, good weight to it. And if it's an electric blowback, I'm going to like it. Uh, and oh, this is really annoying me, guys. I just want to get this in so I can show you what it looks like. I'll show you what it looks like here. So you can kind of see what it's supposed to look like. But if you're watching this live right now, guys, ask me the question and I'll tell you kind of the situation with this thing. I'm kind of happy. You know what, for, for 200 bucks, it's, it's going to be a good giveaway if this works, but I actually think I prefer this other one. Let me know, guys, in the comments, which would you prefer? The gas blowback from WE or the Daniel Defense Bolt uh, electric blowback? The real important thing we need to find out is what is the value? Bolt Daniel Defense. I hope we'll be able to find it. I found it. It says 396. It's a $400 gun. Okay guys, so I've just looked up the value of this and I'm not too upset. Uh, it actually wasn't on Evike's store that I found it, but the value that is showing when I Google it is $289.99. That's brand new. So basically $290. So this is the winner, guys. In terms of value, this is the more expensive one. So I was correct. This is the, the winner. It's going to beat the other, other, other win. Um, I think I'm going to give the first box a four out of five rating, just because actually I really wanted a gas blowback and I know WE makes some good stuff. And this, I'm gonna do the same. Yeah, four out of five stars. So uh, I'm really happy, guys. I think I've done really, really well. I've spent $400 and I've got basically a $400 second hand guy here and extra. So thank you, Evite. Four out of five stars in general for both of them. Uh, I don't normally say that, but to be honest, I think we have 15 channel members right now and we've given away Five, a, five replicas. So the chances for those guys has been one in three. Love all those guys because they support the channel so well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I've been Six Mill Badger. That was George, but he's now left. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and tune in for the next one. Goodbye.